I think it's safe to say that most people that you ask will tell you that Kale is going to be the number one starter champion, uh, starter champion that you can pick whenever you're starting a new account within Raid Shadow Legends. So if you're wondering who to start with, I'm going to tell you that it's Kale, but I'm also going to show you why. There are some big reasons as to why Kale is number one, why I always, and I've done so many referral accounts, I've done so many alts accounts, and I've always suggested 100% without a doubt it's going to be Kale. Kale over Elhane, Kale over Aethel, and definitely Kale over whoever the other guy was. So, thank you for 1,065 subs. Why Kale? Let's start off with his skills. So, first off, his A1 is a one-hitter that provides a small version of poison. And then he does his A2, which is a nuke ability, which hits everybody. AoE means area of effect that you saw right there. And not only does it hit everybody hard, it's his nuking ability. It also boosts his turn meter for every crit hit that happens by 15%. And when that happens, his turn meter goes up. It's almost as if though he's being pushed so much further forward so that he's taking another turn. I don't know if that makes sense. So it's kind of like he's, it's like a pseudo extra turn in a way. Now his A3 is a four hitter. And this four hitter will actually provide a uh, big version right there, the big version of poison, which is a 5% of the enemy's max HP, uh, will come from each hit. And that's significant, especially if we're talking about places like the dungeons or in clan boss, where he's gonna provide quite a bit for you. Elhane does have two moves that she does, which are AoE nuking abilities, and they do kind of hit hard, and then her A1 does hit twice if it crits on the first hit, but for the most part, debuffs, especially in clan boss or the dungeons, are going to make or break a certain team. There's not too many champions out there I know of that are going to smack harder than like a, a, a debuff like HP burns or poisons. I mean, you can go ahead and let me know. I mean, like, there's Taurus, of course, Georgid, uh, Tervold hits really hard as well. But for the most part, especially early on, if you're free to play, you're going to want to take Kale. Kale is also a rare epic, or sorry, not, he is a, a rare, um, what do you call it? Rarity. His rarity is a rare champion. He's blue. So books are easy to come by, relatively easy to come by, especially if you're doing the challenges and the missions, uh, etc., from clan boss there's more books that drop in there too and so it's easy to book him up now if you were to summon an epic champion early on and you tried to max them out it would be quite difficult to do so because epic books aren't exactly that easy to to come across especially early on so kale is definitely hands down the best champion that you could bring in to raid if you're starting all over again from scratch or if you're just wondering who, should, who you're gonna want to pick so the other thing that i wanted to talk about is the difference between a level 50 champion and a level 60 champion a lot of people will tell you especially if you're early on in the game and you're asking what do i do what should i do because the game does do a decent job of walking you through the missions as well as the challenges to kind of guide you through how to navigate through the game but Eventually, you're going to get to this point where you're like, okay, well, what do I do? Well, I'm going to tell you. You're going to want to get your farmer champion up to level 60. That way, um, well, first, let me show you this. This is the Kale build that I have. It's lifesteal and offense. I do have lifesteal and cruelty. This is a better option because you get the attack with the ignore defense mechanic, but I'm, I'm just not going to bother with it. I'm almost done with this account anyway. This is his current stat setup. He's got 18k HP, 2k attack, 160 and or 160 speed, and then he's not crit cap. He's doing okay, but as you saw just now, he did get stonewalled at stage eight, going up against Battle Kazar's crew. Now, what I'm gonna do here is bring him up to level 16. Okay, I gotta edit this first. And you'll see that there is a huge difference in, in, in stat. Well, not, not huge, but noticeable enough. Double down and focus on getting your campaign farmer up to level 60. It is better to have one level 60 champion than to have like 10 level 50 champions. Now, it, it's not wrong to have like that many level 50 champions, but you're still going to want a level 60 champion. When it comes to leveling a champion up to 
level 60, what you have to do is rank a one star champion to two stars or a two star to three stars and then three stars to four stars and four stars to five stars and then you're going to need five star chickens one two three four five to bring a level 50 up to level 60. so now he's at level 60. he's back at level one but we're going to bring him up right away to level 60. so now he's at level 60. he's not fully ascended i didn't really focus on getting the potions for him but you could if you wanted to and you should so that you can get these extra stats coming from the amulet and the banner. He does have his full books, no masteries, I think I mentioned that. But now, if you take a look at his stats, he has an extra 3.5 basically to HP. He's got another almost 600 to attack, a little more defense. And of course, these are going to stay the same. These are just straight from the, um, what do you call it, artifacts that he has. So now, we have a better campaign farmer, by the way, if you don't know this. If you're not at the point where you can do spider, which is where you should be trying to farm your food as well as silver because you get a lot of silver from here as opposed to doing stage 12-3. Earlier, back then, they used to say go to Brutal, do stage 12-6, or sorry, 12-3, because when you go to 12-3, let me show you right here, stage 12-3 will give you a shield, and the shield is worth a lot more silver than trying to get silver from uh, the other the other artifacts or other pieces of armor so again the shield gives more silver than the other articles of clothing of, of armor here if you were only caring about straight xp for your champions as well as xp for your account if you're trying to do the referral account then you would do stage 12 6 and there's nothing wrong with doing that because you're gonna only focus on doing stage 12 6 and you know that's that's all you care about if you're doing the referral accounts but stage 12 3 is where you want to go, especially early on, and you can't, and, and you're at that point where you can't do uh, spider quite yet. But if you can do spider, do spider with some food, and a level 60 champion is going to be. Actually, let me just show you real quick. I, I didn't really focus on doing spider, but let me uh, just throw in a bunch of food to show you how this works. This works a lot better with masteries, but basically, you just go in, you have all of this food die, and he kills the spider. Kale, will kill, Kale is going to kill the spider by himself. And you'll see that you can get a lot of silver, a lot more silver than uh, in the long term, in the long run. You're going to get a lot more silver doing spider as opposed to doing 12-3. And then if you can, if you can get this to the higher stages of spider, uh, you'll benefit a lot more in terms of silver. But yeah, so having a champion at level 60 who is meant to be your farmer, or in Kale's case, my, my farmer and probably most of us, you're able to do the stages a lot faster so you can level up your champions a lot faster so that you can rank up your champions a lot faster and there's benefit to doing that now kale um is also useful for the clan boss and i can go ahead and show you that real quick with his poisons he's got the big and the small versions of poison and now that we've taken him up to 60 uh, i think it's gonna do quite well so there it is you see we get a bunch of silver here and then when we sell this we get some silver there and then we also leveled up two levels for all of these um and then of course by the way the higher in stages you can go for spider the more silver that you're going to get and the, the higher the level of the artifacts that you're going to receive or sorry the accessories that you're going to receive so that you can get even more silver from doing that level two foods let's go ahead and take it into the clan boss real quick we're just going to throw in kale by himself so i can show you guys he does have the A3, which places the big versions of poisons, and every time the poison ticks off, you're going to see when the boss takes a turn, 20 from the big and 10 from the small versions of poison. So Kale is obviously going to be an awesome champion early on. If you're wondering why he is healing, it's because of that lifesteal set. The lifesteal set will heal your champion, whoever has this set on, by I think it's like 30% of the damage that you've dealt. If you have leech, that gives you 18% heals on the damage dealt. But yeah, so all of these poisons ticking off from just Kale alone at level 60 is going to do a lot of damage to the clan boss. Once you get to around boss turn count 20, things start to ramp up. And actually, it's ramping up right now, so you're going to see Kale is starting to die. So it is important to get your champion up to level 60, not just for and 1 million just from kill by himself over 1 million in less than uh, a minute and as you can see right here you only need to get the top chest here 1.142 million now what you can do 
is take your champion up to 60, ascend him, get extra stats from the amulets and the banners, but you can also get masteries, and masteries are important because especially when it comes to doing clan boss or the dungeons, you're going to want to take extra accuracy right here from the support tree, or you're going to want to take giant slayer or war master depending on the champion that you have but in kale's case you're going to want to take war master and this gives bonus damage four percent of the boss's hp which is up in the millions or if you're fighting the dungeon the dragon or uh, you know, spider etc that's a lot of damage that's a lot of damage so now we're going to go back into the same campaign into that same level that you saw me fail at and i'm going to show you that he can now do it with relative ease. Not touching anything. Obviously, you can see my mouse is right there. But you'll see, he's going to go through it relatively easy. As opposed to him failing and getting stonewalled at that point. And then once you can um, finally get your champion up to level 60, getting your other champions leveled up is going to happen a lot faster. And it's really important that you work on this. 25 seconds, what you want to do is 12-3, and you're going to want to be able to get a champion who can do that in about 6 seconds. 6 to 7 seconds, you can do that. Kale actually, on average, will do stage 12-3 in about uh, 30 to 35 seconds. Some people have told me he's been able to, they've been able to get Kale to do it a lot faster. Um, but in my experience, it's usually about 30 to 35 seconds. But there is a champion from the Lizardman faction who is an uncommon, easy to book, easy to build, and he is a six second farmer, and that's Saurus. And if you want to see a guide on that, go ahead and check out this video right here.